What's up guys, it's your boy Jalen here on another episode of Elevated Minds. Today's episode is going to be make a decision. All right, now this is your first time on the channel, hit that like button, subscribe, follow me on all my socials. Uh, all that's gonna be down below in the description box. Let's go on and dive into this video guys. We need to learn how to make a decision. And the reason why we need to learn how to make decisions is a lot of times we get so petrified with making the right decision that we end up making no decision at all. And that's the worst thing that we can do because that's gonna hinder us from a great life and it's gonna hinder us from any type of goals you wanna do because <laughs> you can't make a decision. You can't even make a decision to actually go for your goals. You're like, oh, you know, I wanna go to be a doctor. Or, oh, I wanna go to be a, a lawyer. Or, oh, I wanna go to be uh, a digital creator, a digital designer, but you know, I don't know this could happen and oh it, it does take this amount of time and ah uh, maybe i'll think about it for another year then that one year becomes two years and that two years becomes five years and then you just and never end up doing it because you couldn't make a decision technically you did make a decision by not making a decision you already made your decision <laughs> but my point is we need to learn how to make a decision instead of sitting back and thinking so long about it and so in the book, Think and Grow Rich, they talked about how important it is uh, to make fast decisions. So and that's gonna sound crazy because a lot of times people are like, oh, well, how can I make a fast decision? I need to be able to like think about it for a little bit. What if I make the wrong one? And that's the thing, everybody wants to make the right decision, but here's, here's the rude awakening. We can make the best educated decision uh, choices, but you're not always gonna make the right decision because we're human and humans mess up. So get that perfect life out of your head uh, when it comes to making decisions. Sometimes you're gonna make the wrong decision. Sometimes um, you're gonna make a decision that can impact you know, a lot of things. And those decisions, I do recommend you take a little bit more time, but no more than, you know, if it's like a life-changing decision, no more than like three days to a week. You should know really you know what you're gonna do in that amount of time because all you really have to do to make a, a sound decision is weigh it out you know what I'm saying what's in it for you what's gonna be the pros what's gonna be the cons that's as simple as that if you're gonna make a decision you need to know how is it gonna impact your life if it's gonna be impacted positively or negatively does it affect anyone else around you because sometimes your decisions don't just affect you they affect other people so if you got a family or you have a, a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a spouse somebody you're living with, whatever, that can affect other people around you. So learning how to make quick decisions, but not so quick that you just do it irrationally. I'm not telling you to be irrational, but we just don't need to linger around so long on the decision making process. The decision making process can be very short and sweet. What's in it for you? Is it going to hurt you? And if it is gonna hurt you, or if it is gonna affect you negatively, is it gonna have a positive effect later? Because that could be a decision where you know you might have to suffer for a little bit right now, but in the end, you're gonna have a way better outlook. So for instance, you might make a decision like, oh man, I really can't afford to go to this school. I could, but it's gonna be really rough for a year. But if I go ahead and just put my head down and suffer for this one year of this schooling, you know, another year from now, I'm gonna be in a way better place because I'm gonna be making double the amount of money I'm making right now. It's a hard decision to make, but at the same time, it's not a hard decision to make. You're either going to set yourself up to be better or you're gonna set yourself up to not be better and just hope that you, you know, survive. <laughs> um, that's a little extreme, but you, you get what I'm saying with the process. You have to be able to weigh things out, what's gonna happen if you choose this decision and what's gonna happen if you don't do the decision. And so the reason why decision making is just so important is because it's gonna move us from where we are. We're sitting, we're right here. You might be cer a certain issue uh, or it might, it, you might be perfectly fine the way you are. And then some opportunity comes up and it's, and it's like, oh wow, I have to make a decision. I'm gonna use this as an example. I was uh, doing a delivery one day and some guy approached me and said, hey man, like I don't, I can tell by your spirit, like you would be perfect for this, blah, blah, blah. I do life insurance, I've got my own business and doing this, is this, I'm building my team and I'd love for you to be a part of it. 
I make this amount of money a month, blah, blah, blah. And you know, for a little bit, I was like, hmm, it sounds, it sounds great on paper, but I think I would need to see this presentation. So I went and saw his presentation and it was cool and all, but uh, he didn't make as much money as he claimed to. And I was making pretty much the same amount of money, if not more than what he was making, doing what I'm doing with less hassle and I don't have to chase people down and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, I came to a quick decision. This is not gonna benefit, gonna benefit me in the way that I want it to because I'm not gonna make as much money. I'd probably make the same amount or less. And I could make more, but most likely not, at least not right away. And I was like, you know, I'm okay doing what, with what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna decide to not go forward with that opportunity. And so I was able to make a quick decision and it what you know it didn't take too long because I was able to weigh everything out with the information I was given. Make sure you have all the information that you need before making a decision. But I don't want to you know sit there and wait on it too long because if you sit there and wait too long you're gonna you know oh man maybe I should do this. Then here comes the, the not not making a decision becomes indecision. Indecision becomes doubt. And then when the doubt comes in here comes the fear and then you're just scared that you're you can't move at all because you're so scared that you're going to make the wrong move or the decision is going to be a bad one and it's going to send you into a pit full of just agony and you know that's that's no way to you know have to think about this you know so learn how to make quick decisions this is, is not a long episode but this is a really good one because i feel like everyone needs to know that Decision-making skills and critical thinking skills when it comes to making decisions is gonna be a huge impact on your future life. It's gonna be a huge impact on your future self because the decisions you make right now can very well affect you five to 10 years from now. So if you choose to have a child right now and you're not prepared, that can affect you in five to 10 years from now. If you choose to go to a school to do something that you hate, that can affect you in five to 10 years. That's gonna affect you as soon as you get done. <laughs> as soon as you start doing a line of work. If you decide, you know, that you want to not work and, you know, just figure it out and just be a free bird, that decision can affect you positively or negatively five to 10 years from now. So everything that we decide to do has an effect. It does have, there isn't a cause and there is an effect, but we have to make sure that we know how to make the best decision possible with the information that we have and then move forward. If you make the wrong decision, hey, we're human. You made the best educated decision that you could with the information that was provided to you and you made the wrong decision. Okay, we all make mistakes and you know, sometimes it might have pretty dire consequences, but you know what? It's better to make a decision and deal with the consequences later than to not make a decision at all and then deal with those consequences because usually those are gonna be twice as worse. Like you're wanting to make a decision to move out from where you're living to a better place that has more opportunity, but you're like, oh, I'm scared that it won't work out. And then you just stay there in the same place. That's the scariest thing of all. You stay in the same spot without taking a risk of actually being able to move to where you're trying to go. So that's the real scary thing. That's why the importance of decision-making is huge. It's huge for anybody, whether you're a kid, if you're an adult, this everyone makes a decision. Kids make decisions too. They make a decision if they want to disobey their parents, if they want to flunk in school, if they want to do this, if they want to do that, if they want to eat too much candy. Like everyone can make a decision. And so we need to learn now. If you haven't learned how to make a decision, now is the time. And watch how your life starts to change when you can make fast decisions, sound decisions, and decisions that can impact your future positively. So. That's all I got for today, guys. I hope that I provided y'all some value. Please, if you have any type of content that you would like me to do as far as uh, different topics, let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to do an episode for you guys. Share this video, like, comment, uh, share this video with anybody you think that would benefit from it. And you know what I'm saying? We're in Q4, y'all. We're in the fourth quarter. Let's hit these goals. I'm saying we're going hard for the rest of these remainder of the year you know what i'm saying so y'all be safe be blessed stay elevated